So I've already talked about the fact that sugar wax isn't just sugar wax. It's not simply a matter of, oh, you made it or you didn't because you can actually make different kinds. Therefore, to recap, there are four different types. There's strip sugar, soft sugar, firm sugar, and hard sugar. All of these are made with the same formula. The recipe isn't different, but they are cooked to different consistencies. Remember that because it's gonna be important later. So how do you know which one you should use? You're gonna base it off of just two questions. What type of hair am I removing? And what's the temperature like right here, right now? And I quite literally mean like where you're standing while waxing yourself. The main principle that you must understand about sugar wax is that it's affected by two things, moisture and heat. When it's hot, it melts. Sugar is a humectant, and as we also know, water melts sugar. So this is why it softens. Case in point, this once semi-solid paste is now completely runny after subjecting it to heat. Think of your sugar wax as a spectrum. So let's just pretend it's summer and the forecast is like 96 degrees. So not only is it hot outside, but the ambient temperature in your house is also higher. So now if we're on the same page, you're thinking, uh, oh, my sugar is going to be kind of soft. How do I get it to cooperate? The answer is you overcompensate. You need to go harder, quite literally, or shall I say firmer. So when the temperature in your surroundings melted, it actually just softens it to the perfect consistency. So it's not too hard, it's not too soft, but it's just right. But what if it's not hot? What if it's like winter? Well, then the ambient temperature is gonna be pretty low. Again, you're gonna overcompensate. Only this time, you're gonna go the opposite direction. You're gonna go softer. This is because when your sugar gets cold, it seizes. Yes, it's gonna feel harder at first, but that's only temporary. Think of it like butter. Yeah, it's solid while it's in the refrigerator, but if you were to leave it out, it would soften. The ambient temperature of your room may be cold, but your body is like 98.6 degrees, so you are also radiating heat. Therefore, when you actually go to use your sugar wax, again, it will soften. So it's not too hard, it's not too soft, but it's just right. You're like, okay, great, you covered one question, but you said you also need to consider what your hair type is like. That is intentional because this is actually the order in which you want to ask yourself these questions. Temperature is always going to take precedence because it is the most important. The difference between all of these different types of sugar, yes, they're affected by temperature, but they all start off being a different consistency. This is because they all have different concentrations meaning the amount of moisture that's in the final formula is different amongst them. They all fall on the spectrum kind of like this. The more concentrated the sugar is, the stickier it is. So long story short, if your hair is fine, it doesn't need something that's super sticky. But as anyone who has thick or coarse hair knows, it's tough. It's like it's so well rooted that you need something that's extra strength to get it to budge. Softer sugar is good for finer hair and firmer sugar is good for coarse hair. Just remember that you first want to take into account your climate. Another thing I want to mention too briefly is temperature control. Because if you are sugaring on like the hottest day of summer, but you can control your immediate climate, aka you have central air, an air conditioning unit, or even just a fan that you're working in front of, that has the ability to change your ambient temperature. And the same thing vice versa. It may be cold outside, but if you have central heating or are working in front of a heat source, that also changes the ambient temperature. So to recap, sugar is affected by temperature. So the way that you select which sugar you should use is by first considering how you need to overcompensate by going softer or harder. Then also calculate whether you need to compensate based on the type of hair that you're removing. Softer for finer hair and firmer for coarse hair. And now you know which type to use. Strip sugar, soft sugar, firm sugar, or hard. Now, I know it took a while, but if you found this video helpful, please do give it a thumbs up, but also share it with someone who you know is probably struggling with it. One of the biggest curves of even getting started is knowing which one to use because it can really affect how good or not so good your experience is. So if you aren't already, make sure you subscribe because I'm also going to be coming out with a part two that's going to go over the five top mistakes that I see. And if you have any questions, of course, leave them down in the comment section. And hey, they might even make it to the next video.